everyone that I would come on very, very soon with my new Iena MM in the Damier Aben print and compare it to a Neverfull MM because that's the biggest question because obviously it seems very similar to a Neverfull except it has a zip top and the zipper opening in the front and more pockets inside. So that's been a lot of people's most major complaint with the Neverfull is that it's open and they're not comfortable with that and also they're worried about the Neverfull straps. So let's do some comparing. First of all, okay, here's my Neverfull MM in the same print. I tried to get this camera so that I could show them. <laughs> Very similar as you can see. When I did the measurements, Basically what it came up to was almost an inch taller, higher on the Neverfull, almost an inch smaller from top to bottom on the Iena. So that's basically the only difference. The width is very much the same. This is a little bit wider, I'm sorry. I'm saying the width across the top here is about an inch also wider here on the Neverfull. So the Neverfull is about an inch wider and about an inch taller. So it is a bit of a difference in that respect. So it's a little tiny bit smaller than, the Iain is a tiny bit smaller than the Neverfull is basically what I'm trying to get at here. Um, but it's really not too much smaller to be honest with you. Um, let's see, the leather. I've also had questions about the leather being different. Apparently um, Damier Ben leather has been lately uh, coming out with a little bit of a different feel to it. And this is the first um, Aben piece that I've gotten in quite a while. So the only ones I have to compare with would be my Neverfull. And this one's old. I mean, I've had this thing forever. It's before the new model. This is still the old model with the, uh, you know, the stripes interior and so forth. Um, and then I also can compare it to my Speedy 30. But again, this is from, I think, 2012. So this would be the older leather also. It's not the new model Speedy with the puffier things. So this is really what I have to compare it to. I have a favorite and other those, all those other things, but they don't really have the same type tabs or whatever. So I figured I'd use these for comparison's sake. The leather on the Iena does feel different. It looks, it's a little more matte. It's less shiny. I'm sure a lot of that's from wear. Let's see if you get close up enough to see this. It's a little shiny, or this, the, okay, it's not gonna focus. Hmm, let's try that. It's more of a matte finish than the other. Um, it feels, it has a little bit of a different feel to it also. I would say that it feels kind of, this is going to sound horrible, and it's not. It ha almost has more of a rubberized feel to it. Um, same with the tabs, they're just a little more matte. I wonder, not sure, but I wonder if that will uh, shine up a little bit with wear and the oils from hands and so forth. But the bottom of the, the underside of the tab is not finished. It's a it's more of like a raw leather. Let's see if you can see those bits at all. What I'm talking about. It has a very good heft to it. Um, it's got a good width or depth. I'm not sure which one you'd call this. The side bit, it's, it's thicker, it's, it's not real thin and tiny. It looks substantial, yet it's not so wide that it'll fall off your shoulder. So, I honestly, I got this bag two days ago in real life. I'm putting this video up on Friday. So happy St. Patrick's Day to any of you who are watching this on Friday. Um, I'll be gone for the weekend, so I had to get this video done early. So I've only actually had this out and about and tried it in person running around one day. Um, and I fit it over a winter coat. So um, I'm not the tiniest person. So sometimes when bags have a real small arm, see it's a little bit tight on me. In this case, it isn't. Um, it fits perfectly over my arm when I'm not wearing a coat. And then I did wear a bulky winter coat. I'll throw in a picture here. And it fit over my arm perfectly fine. Um, strap drop see here that is something I did not look for nine inches from what I understand from what I see it's nine inches um, across the top we've got 16.5 height is 10.5 and the depth 
is 6.7. And that the, the, according to the number of full measurements, again, it's a, almost an inch shorter and almost an inch smaller this way than the Neverfull MM. So that's how it compares size-wise. Um, let's see. I brought my Speedy 30 to show what, you know, what I can get in there compared to this, but I'm not even sure if that's necessary. What I'll do is show you what I have in this bag right now, and uh, we'll go from there, okay? <laughs> The front, I always carry my phone, and it fits perfectly fine. This is an iPhone 6. As you can see, a 7 would be perfectly fine. There's no problem at all with a 7 fitting in there. Plenty of space. That goes down to under this tab. The top of the phone is down under this tab. So there's still plenty of room for other things in there. My gosh, I could fit. Let's see what's in there. There's a mini pochette. Let's see if that goes. Oh, yeah. That actually goes and zips. So a mini pochette would fit in there perfectly fine with some room to spare. A mini pochette and a zippy coin. So yeah, those things both fit in there. So it is quite a large uh, pocket in front. Simple to get to, not too deep. It's not terribly deep. Let's see if I, this is an iPhone 6. Like I said, if I stand it up completely, you can see that it does not. Well, if you did that, it sure would. Standing up, it would fit a little bit under there. So that's the general depth of it. If you have a phone, get your phone out and you can take a look. <laughs> so that's always what I have in there is my phone. Always. I've used it one day, but that's always where I will, <laughs> where I will keep my phone. Um, all right. Opening this thing. Oh, see now the zipper. I don't do zippers very often, <laughs> you know, like on my day to day, I just leave it open. And then when I want to zip it, I zip it. But boy, this one, I might just want to zip more often because it just feels so good. <laughs> All right, this is how I have it packed at the moment. I and mean, this is the beauty of this type of a bag. You don't have to worry about, you know, downsizing and, oh gosh, what will I get rid of? And should I really throw that in there? Or do I have room for this? You don't have to worry about that at all, which is wonderful. You just sort of throw in whatever you think you might need that day. And I'm kind of one of those people. I always want to have everything I might need that day. <laughs> so anyway, um, I've been downsizing so much lately too that this is like a revelation. I even got out my Sarah wallet, which I have not used in so long, and I put things in here, and I'm telling you, it's like empty. I, I don't even know what to fill it with. I used to have this thing cram-packed full, and now I'm like trying to make up things to put in here because I'm so used to using a small wallet, I guess I don't need half the stuff I used to have in here. I don't know what my problem is, but I've got out the big wallet just to show that in here, so that's in there also. All right, so the large size Sarah wallet. Let's see if that fits in the front. We're going to try everything in a front. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes. Full-size wallet fits in the front easily. That's too cool, isn't it? Wow, okay. Sarah wallet fits in the front. But I have it in the main compartment right now. Uh, let's see here. Um, in, let's start with the pockets. In this pocket here, I do have my... There's these two slip ones here. I have my Chanel card case. And in here I do have like business cards and whatnot. I really wouldn't need to bring these. Or actually I could put what's in here in the Sarah if I wanted to keep using the Sarah because there's plenty of space in this guy. It's like, it's like roaming around empty. I mean, I, I don't know, it feels so thin. <laughs> and I put my coins in there too, so I don't even really need the coin purse in here, but I have it in here. My glasses case, I got out this one so it's easier to find. As you can see, it's kind of dark in there. I will do, I will do that, it's a beautiful, gorgeous color and it's not difficult to find things in there, but it does, it is a dark, it's a bit dark. So if you really wanna be able to grab something fast, um, which is why I decided to grab this. So I'm using that one in the Damier Azur. I have my mini pochette, which is very similar to the 15 toiletry um, and bigger than the, the mini pochette. A bit big now, so that gives you an idea. Um, I have my prescription sunglasses in a ginormous case. These are my Maui Gems. Those in a big case. I have my clay, which has my key fob in it, as I showed you the other day. I have a pair of gloves because it's really cold and snowy outside. I do have my Zippy coin, even though I put my coins in my Sarah. I have my, oops, I have my, uh, my grandmother's earring and my P.O. Box keys. And that's really all that's in there at the moment. I could also put um, earbuds in there, but I don't have them in there. And a random coupon and a random hair tie. See, one day I'm using this and I've already have random things floating around in the bottom. And then here are some just whatnots and so forth that I have in the uh, larger pocket and a face marker, 
and those were all in this, this larger slip pocket here. So those things were in that bag, and as you can see, so much more will fit. Um, all right, let's do this. Let's show all that exact same stuff. I'm just gonna throw it willy-nilly into, I'm gonna throw it willy-nilly into the Speedy so you can see how much of the Speedy that fills. Maybe that'll help you get an idea of the size. So this won't take long, I'll just throw it in here. Uh, no, I don't have that, I have these. I have this, I have that, I have these, and my phone. Okay, and obviously these don't take up space, so I'm not gonna bother with that. All right, in a Speedy. So see, there's still plenty, plenty of room, like there was plenty of room in the Iena. Okay, so now let's add things. Let's put those same things back in here and then add more things so we can see what all fits completely in there. I'm even throwing in the random, <laughs> the random coupon. Okay, let's put all that in. My glove. All right. Shirt. Um, I also want to let you know that a bag shaper you know, any, any type of a Samorga or whatever type of a shaper that you would use for a Neverfull MM or even for a Speedy. I have one that I interchange between the two. Fits right down in here perfectly too. So if you're a bag shaper kind of person, that would work also. All right, so those things are back in my bag. Lots and lots and lots of room to spare, as you can see. Okay, now let's say I'm going somewhere extra. I already have gloves in here. So let's throw in a scarf because it's going to be cold. All right, so we've got a scarf. I'm gonna wait till end for that hat. I'm going to wear a hat because it's sunny and I don't know. So here, let's throw that hat in. All right, I'll go ahead and put the scarf in. There's still plenty, 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 plenty of room. I mean, seriously, I could put a sweater in there, um, an umbrella, like a compact umbrella would definitely fit in there, a bottle of water or two or three, a six pack. <laughs> There's a lot of room in this thing is what I'm trying to tell you and it, you know, of course just zips up beautifully with a very, very smooth zip. So this is what then that would look like that full. Let's go ahead and put my phone in here too. All right. Now that's cram full of like everything you could pretty much ever need and there's lots and lots of room still left. So this is what that would look like. All right. Um, let's see. What else do I want to talk about? Um, I've talked, oh, it's very lightweight. That's one thing I did want to mention. It's a very, very lightweight. Um, filled with this much stuff, it even doesn't feel like there's that much stuff in there, to be perfectly honest. Um, and with nothing in it, it's just, it's like a feather. It's very, very lightweight. I'm pretty surprised by that. Um, yeah, so let's see. Fits under the arm beautifully. Plenty of room, like I say, for a coat. I have a sweater and a jacket on, so it's even adding more bulk under here, but there's nothing, no problem whatsoever. Okay, I just emptied this and grabbed my 15 inch MacBook Pro. It's bigger than your average one, so I'm, I'll see if that fits. And then I also went upstairs and quickly grabbed my daughter's 12-inch MacBook Pro, and then I grabbed my, that the medium-ish size um, iPad to show what fits. So let's first, I emptied it completely to start with the biggest piece. So let's just see if the 15-inch, I mean, technically, oh, technically, yes, it does fit in there. I mean, you wouldn't really have much room for, I mean, yeah, it, it would definitely, it would, yeah. It fits. <laughs> it does. I mean, there's some room on each side then of the laptop down in here that you would be able to put other things. So that would actually work. I mean, it's from top to bottom fairly tight, but it works. Um, so yeah, let's imagine though that you have a more manageable size laptop. This is an older uh, MacBook Pro 12 inch, my daughter's. That goes in there beautifully with a little bit of space. And then, Let's also put in my glasses, um, my wallet, my pochette, my round case, my coupon, um, my Chanel card case, uh, some face powder, 
and a scarf. Okay, still there's room. And that's with a MacBook Pro. Now let's throw in a iPad, some prescription sunglasses, and my gloves. It still fits. Let's zip this puppy up and see what happens. It fits! Beautiful! Alright, there you go. So basically, whatever you can get in here, as long as it doesn't go over the, you know, like an inch, would be able to, the same thing that you'd be able to get in here. Um, this does zip, it has that extra added security. The handles are wider than on the never full. The handles are much wide, not much, but the handle is wider than on the never full. So maybe that will add to the comfort factor too. Oh, I brought a bottle of water in here too to show that, of course that does. I mean, if, if the uh, MacBook fits, then I'm sure a bottle of water will too, but just a regular normal size bottle of Avion. Slip that right down the side, absolutely. So this looks to me like it would fit just about anything you'd want it to fit for going just about anywhere you'd want to go. So I hope that this helped. If there's any question that you have that I did not answer, be, you know, feel free to let me know and I will be happy to try to answer it for you. But that's my comparison right now and my what fits, pretty much everything. And I hope that helped. Thank you so much and I will talk to you guys real soon. Bye.